my plan is to replace this piece of weather stripping or kind of a uh, bonnet cushioning strip that used to be here. And um, I've ordered the little fasteners. You need 10 along here and then the stripping. And there are different kinds of weather stripping you can get. Um, some of it's very thin canvas. I actually ordered um, kind of a thicker one. It's like a heavy canvas that's rolled and uh, soaked in some rubber. And it looks really good. So I'm going to be putting that on here. Here you can see the old clips from the piece of or weather strip. So here's the here's the liner which I'm going to use. It's got a really nice thickness to it. That's going to go right across here. So I'm just using a small pliers reaching underneath. And then I'm going to squish and push. come out just like that. Probably don't even, I probably could reuse these, but might as well put in new clips. Okay, so what I've done is just using some a clamp and some binder clips. Um, you can't really reach up with it with a with an ice pick from the bottom. So all I'm doing is I'm feeling my finger and then putting the ice pick there and making the little hole. So I feel along the edge, make the little hole, feel along the edge, I know where it is, make the hole. So, I'm just going to squeeze gently like that to get it started. And that seems to be a good way to do it. Just squeeze the thing from the top and start it through. I just remove the clips. And I will trim off this extra little piece here. And that's what's left. This little piece is left. I'm going to trim it. I have this really good pair of uh, leather shears. And um, I'm going to use it to to cut this. Just want to make sure my length is correct. I'm concerned about some fraying on the edge. Yeah, that's good. So here's the edge. I think I might have to have to seal it in some way. Maybe dip it in rubber. I don't know. The only problem is this thing comes right off because the clips, I don't know if you can see a close-up, the clips don't go in deep enough because the problem is this, this, um, this material is too thick. It's just too thick for this type of clip. So I ordered another bonnet rest strip which is thinner. You can kind of see the profile here and um, you can see the profile. It's a little thinner and I tried the original rivets with it 
and they still didn't work. They just wouldn't go through. So I, um, I got these clips, these brass, these are brads actually is what they're called. And they even come with brass washers. And you can see this, the, the hole here, which is what I actually tried to use with the original clips. The clips just didn't come all the way through and they wouldn't, certainly wouldn't go through uh, the, uh, the metal. They just wouldn't make it. So I got these clips, these brass brads, and what I'm going to do is um, put the brad on top, like this, and underneath I'll push this through, use the washer, and then um, open up the brad underneath, and that should hold it. We'll see how that does. It's brass. It's probably going to corrode and get ugly. I don't know. It might actually look good. I don't know. Another thing I did was uh, I got some fabric glue to prevent fraying, and I put that on the end on the ends and I also put it in each holes to prevent fraying. So now I'm just going to simply place the strip place the strip in. And you can see these these brads just slide right in. So I lucked out with the size That actually looks pretty good. And you can see here's the brad hanging down. And I'm just going to put the washer on it, a little brass washer, squeeze it tight, and then open, the, open up the, the brad that way. Let's see if I can get a close up of it pretty hard to see from under here because it's so dark but that's how it looks when it's finished and now you can see the strip and I think it's it's not bad so that's the bonnet rest strip and I think um, I think the bonnet rest strip will do for now, and we'll see how it goes. That's good.